You guys chilling here in my hotel room overlooking the sky rise or the skyline here in New York. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a lot of things. Most of it is how to become wealthy. Oh, but Mike, I don't know if I have the money or I don't have the time. Well, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover how to actually grow your wealth, build your wealth, become wealthy. Even if you have no money to get started with, we're gonna go more with that after the intro. All right, so check this out. We have literally just checked into this epic hotel where you could see the New York skyline. There's a lot of wealth in this area, so I thought, what better way to go ahead and make a video about wealth, right? You can see this is probably a different attire than you were used to. Normally I just wear like a white t-shirt uh, and chilling like at my uh, place in Bali, but now I'm kind of like suited up because in order to, to kind of like go through the realms of the wealth, you need to kind of like blend in. And wealthy people, just I don't know why, they, they, they wear these flashy suits. So guys, what do you think about this? Do, do you guys like the look or not? Um, and you guys can see, you know, there's like, we're decked up, but I don't really drink that much. Uh, there is champagne or wine or something like that. There was fruit. I destroyed it. And here is the entire hotel room. So let's actually break this down because so many people become want to become wealthy. Heck, I wanted to become wealthy, but I always thought, oh, don't I need money to go and make money? Like I always thought in my mind, oh, it's a concept. Oh, to make money, I need to go ahead and make money. And it was a, a thing that kind of prevented me from becoming successful. You know, I always thought that my friends that were wealthier than me because I came from a poor immigrant background, that they were just magically blessed uh, by some random money god where they just naturally were more wealthier than me, they had more opportunities than me, they had more doors to be opened than me, and I just thought that, you know, maybe I just pulled the wrong uh, deck of the cards or the wrong card out of the deck uh, in my luck, right, in, in my life. Little did I know was I furthest from the case, and there's actually ways to go ahead and build wealth, even if you have no money. So let's actually break it down. Step number one. One of the things that I didn't realize, if I wanted to build wealth uh, and I had no money, is I needed to understand one simple thing, and that is I needed to become valuable to people that already had the money. Why is that? Because think about this. People are like, oh man, I wanna become wealthy, man. I wanna go ahead and make money, cool. And then guess what they do? They go ahead and create a product or service and they sell to people that are broke. That is the fastest way to a headache. Like I, really, I, I, I'm traveling right now with a business partner and a friend right now, and he did, you know, startup events of like music and festivals for broke 16 year olds when, when he was like a broke 16 year old kid, right? Of course, it's gonna be hard building that business because you are literally marketing to people that have no money, right? But how do you actually go ahead and succeed? Well, imagine you have a billionaire, right? And there's some deep pain point in their life that they wanna get solved, right? It could be either their health, it could be their fitness, most of the times it's their relationships, uh, maybe it's a marketing problem in their business, and, and they're, they're a billionaire. They, they, they're, they already have all the money in the world, but what they don't have is they know that their time is going lower and lower and lower as time goes by. So to them, if you could go ahead and find a million dollar problem for them, that they define, oh, this, this, I would pay a million dollars for someone to go ahead and solve this problem. Think about it, how much easier it would be to go ahead and build wealth because you're just going up to someone that has the money and literally creating a service or a solution for them. Does that make sense? Like no one understands that when you become successful and wealthy, the reason why the, the people are wealthy is because they essentially work for the ultra wealthy. There's different levels to these things. And that's why like, you know, there's so much money here on Wall Street or in New York. It's because people are helping people with already a lot of money, make them more money. Does that make sense? And that's what you gotta understand. If you really, like really wanna become successful and wealthy and have to have like a lot of money, but you have no money to get started with, you're like, oh Mike, you know, that sounds great, but I'm so broke. I have no money. I don't know what I could go ahead and do. The first thing that you need to do is you need to find people of value in your area, in your city, in your location, because that is exactly how you go ahead and level up. Like, how did I go ahead and do this? Th- think about this. I was like in college, right? Um, and, and no one else around me had money. So what did I end up doing? I started going and hanging around business owners. Like, I remember there was a lot of time. I remember I was spending uh, time with this guy. He, he ran this like string of tanning salons. Do you remember those? Those things that, you know, people would go in and they would do like that kind of fake and bake tan and out of nowhere, bam, they're just magically tan. So he owned a line of those uh, tanning salons all across the Midwest, right? So I remember I went up to him and I was like, okay, well, what do you need help with? What do you need help with? I met him from a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend and I found, oh, this guy is wealthy, right? I'm not wealthy. 
So what I started doing is I started asking him about like certain parts about his family, his friends, his business. And, and here was I, there's just this young guy that was hungry and eager to help. Now, one of the things that he did is he opened up a lot of string of opportunities for me just because I was hungry to help and add value to him. And again, that's one of the fastest ways to build wealth if you have no money. Find someone with wealth, find the pain points in their life, and if you're the one that focuses, that's your primary objective to go ahead and solve each one of those, you know, pain points for them, the, the, the transfer of wealth would easily go from their pockets into yours. Does that make sense? Now, what else can you do to go ahead and build wealth if you don't have any money? Well, understand this. The name of the game of money is it flows where people define or put a value over something. So at the end of the day, like if you want to make more money, you gotta look yourself in the mirror. Like seriously, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, okay, how valuable is this person that I see in the mirror, right? How valuable is this person that I go ahead and see? Because you don't get paid just because, oh, I wanna go ahead and make more money. You get paid in direct proportion to how much value you add into the marketplace. So how did I go ahead and become more of a valuable person? Well, one of the biggest things that I realized to become more valuable was learn sales and marketing, right? Because think about it, with sales and marketing, I could go to any product, any service, any business, and I'm already innately valuable. Why? Because so many people that became successful became successful because they have a business. Some people that have a business are selling a product and service. Most of the people that have product and service have no idea how to market and sell that product or service. So that's what I did. And I literally went and for the longest time, like when I was in college, when I was like studying biology and chemistry, I had to become valuable by learning sales and marketing. How did I go ahead and do this? Now I remember calling people on Craigslist, trying to sell people on an opportunity. I remember, you know, doing uh, like direct like cold approach to try to sell people at malls, right? I got rejected over and over and over and over again. I felt like an idiot. My friends thought I was stupid. My family thought I was crazy, like crazy. Like why are you, when you could just go to school, get a good job, get good grades, why are you going ahead and going through all these heartaches of trying to sell people things, right? I felt bad. I was like, oh, selling is sleazy. I don't wanna be a seller. I don't wanna be a salesperson. I just wanna go ahead and make money, right? But I don't wanna sell anything. Every single business is in the business of not just the product, but in the business of selling that product. And the thing that I didn't realize at that time when all my friends and family thought I was crazy, like seriously, like crazy, crazy, crazy. I had no idea that I was building up my value in terms of my skill sets. Why? Because I was going through failure. Well, Mike, are you telling me failing is, is valuable? No but it is valuable because you learn what not to do. And one of the things that started happening, when I was going around and just like, you know, talking to people and selling and doing all these things and trying to get into sales and marketing, is I started realizing that with the thousands of people I was talking to, there were certain patterns that they would go ahead and say that I started realizing, oh, if I say this and I, and I give them this type of energy or vibe, they will actually uh, be more prone to like me as opposed to this. And you only know this when you start talking to enough people, right? It's, it's the same thing with sales. You talk to enough people on the phone, there's only so many rejections you could get. If you go out into the clubs or into the bars here in New York, there's only so, way, so many ways a girl can actually go ahead and reject you before you realize, oh, actually, there's certain things and characteristics and personality traits and ways that I'm dressed or signaling or even the smell of my breath that is either signaling to this girl that I'm someone that she would be attracted to or not. And if she rejected me, there's only so many different rejections you can make and, and receive before you start realizing that actually this isn't that bad and you learn how to actually circumnavigate it, right? And like I said, you only know this through actually focusing on becoming more valuable. How, you, how, how do you get good at a thing? You first start off really, really bad and you're just, for example, crazy enough to do it over and over again until you suck less. You keep on doing it, so you suck a little bit less, and you keep on doing it so much more that one day you just start, you suck so little that you are finally going ahead and being good. Now, for those first two steps, that's very simple. You do that, you're gonna make a lot of money, right? Even if you have no money whatsoever. Now, the thing about wealth, it's very different than cash because wealth is something that you keep and that pays you over and over and over again. What you do not want is to just make a bunch of money and just blow it on a bunch of experiences. Like it looks like I'm doing from the outside in. But what a lot of people don't understand is how I'm building my wealth with no money. The, the, first, I, the, the first time I do those first two steps is I automate the wealth building strategies. So what would be the third step? Automate you taking the money from the skill set and the, the network that you built 
by applying that skill set to the network and automate money to come out of your business checking out or whatever checking out to a separate account where it's like, for example, a brokerage account where it's not the money that you spend. Because the thing about wealth is it's, it's kind of like an identity game. You probably experienced this too. So many times you probably looked at your bank account and you're like, wow, I only see two grand or wow, I only three, see $3,000. And whenever you make more money, you find ways to spend it. If you go under that threshold, you find more ways to make it. But for some reason, literally look at your bank account. It's probably been looking the same for the past several months to even several years. That is because us as humans, we have this it like thing that we just spend what we think we can and we just keep ourselves at that same kind of like baseline. Does that make sense? So what I ended up doing about a, a couple of years ago is I would automate it to two separate accounts. One to like a brokerage account and one to a tax account because you know, I gotta go ahead and pay taxes. I'm not a tax advisor, this isn't tax advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's literally what I did because that is exactly how I'm gonna go ahead and build my wealth by taking it out of whatever skill set and business that I have, moving it and getting it ready to get into the markets by the time, you know, I'm ready to go ahead and, you know, uh, invest. Does it make sense? Uh, now, even if I wasn't investing, it's a very good wealth strategy because when the money comes out of my checkings account and goes to a brokerage account that I don't look at every single day, I almost trick my mind to realize that the money that I see every day is that the only money that I could go ahead and spend. So what ends up happening? I make smarter decisions because I see a certain amount there. But what my brain doesn't realize is literally twice a month, it's going up to a separate account where it's getting ready uh, to go ahead and you know infuse the money into opportunities, right? And that's one thing that you can go ahead to automate it. Literally take emotion out of it. Take you know you your greed and your emotions and all that out of it because all those emotions, greed, right, impatience, that is what takes away from success and wealth. So I realized I don't wanna fight my greed and emotions, I'm just gonna go ahead and automate it so I don't have to worry about it. Now, what the fourth step is, if you wanna build wealth with no money, is you need to know exactly when it's time to implement the cash flow that you saved. Now I'm not telling you to go ahead and live like 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 a college kid for the rest of your life. Heck, I'm actually starting to enjoy my wealth right now um, and using leverageable ways to go ahead and live a good life while also creating ways where I could also invest in certain things, right? But because I automated it, the fourth step that I needed to realize is to get really good and when to implement the cash that I saved up from you know the first two or three steps. And I mean, it's obvious, right? Because Warren Buffett talks about it all the time. I could go really, really complicated and all of those things, but you need to go ahead and instead of look at looking at whatever crazy, uh, you know, just 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 thing that's going on or the the trend that's going on, it could either be you know certain vehicles that you see, you see them all the time because they always talk about it in Reddit and YouTube videos, but you need to find out when, if you look back in like ten year increments, when people were the most depressed and when people were the most optimistic. Because what Warren Buffett says is you want to buy when people are the most depressed, when people are little, there's like blood in the streets, and you wanna sell when people are a little, a little bit too excited, a little bit too optimistic. Buy when others are depressed and sell when others are greedy. It, it's that simple. And that's kinda like the entire philosophy that I have, for example, for my wealth generation is I'm not really the smartest person in the world, right? None of the things that I say should be ever taken as financial advice or tax advice or anything because I'm not a financial advisor or tax advisor or anything like that. But what I do know for sure is if I have cash ready to go ahead and implement and there's something crazy that happens in the world where everyone is freaking out and there's blood in the streets and this is rest, that's when I know it's actually the best time to go in. I learned this in the past when, for example, uh, crypto started exploding back in like 2017 and 18. I only knew oh wow, this is a good opportunity. And my greed was what led my decisions. And because my greed was what led my decisions, I lost a lot of money. What I should be doing was being a little bit more skeptical when everything is going all crazy and instead waiting for when people were crying. Oh my God, I lost so much money. Oh my God, the, the days of crypto was like long in the past. That's when I should go ahead and you know get into a certain opportunity. But if everyone like my Uber driver in Thailand or when I'm traveling, like some salon lady goes and tells me, oh, did you ever heard about Bitcoin? It's probably a, a good signal to show that, oh, maybe, maybe everyone's a little bit too optimistic. So I should just wait. I should just be patient. I should just focus on making more money. And then when everyone's depressed, that's when I could go ahead and go in. Now this is what people don't realize when it comes to wealth. It is a long-term game. 
especially if you have no money. You need to understand that life is a chess board and you are every single moment making moves on your chess board. Now you can be consciously knowing that you're making these moves. They'll essentially help you in the end game of the chess game, right? But if you don't know, you're still making moves. You're just gonna lose the game because you don't even know the game that you're playing. Does that make sense? And once you understand this and understand that wealth building, even if you have no money, isn't just a, a one year plan, but a five to 10 to 20 year game plan, a chess game that you are going against you, yourself, as well as the entire market out there that is even more greedy than you, right? It allows you to start making smarter decisions. And that, my friends, is how you build wealth with no money. So hopefully that helps, guys. If you want a fast way to go ahead and start building wealth for yourself with no with no experience, no time, and no money whatsoever, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's one of the fastest ways that people are going from zero to six figures a year with no experience. So check it out in the free workshop below. I got to go ahead and take this suit off because I'm not used to this. But guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys like these styles? Do you want me to wear more suits? It kind of feels weird. My jeans keep feel kind of tight. But that is all. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Woo!